How are you? How y'all doing? It's good to be back What's in up, Bristol. Time? How you doing? Give it, up, give it up, give it up. Thanks, on this panel. Give it up. It's good to be back in Bristol? Yes. Okay. I you love Bristol. You know what? Well, well, we wouldn't go that far. <laughs> it's good to be back in studio. In general, good yes. to be back in studio. Coming up on the show today, Rory McIlroy wins his third <coughs> major at 25 years old. Is he the only reason Tiger Woods will never pass Jack? We will discuss that. Plus, should Minnesota send Kevin Love to the Cavs for Andrew Wiggins and Anthony Bennett? Mm -hmm. We discussed the details of a possible deal, but up first, we talked about a Tiger finished five strokes behind Tom Watson. 69. Tiger has now had two of his three worst finishes at a major as a pro when making the cut between the 2013 PGA Championship and the 2014 Open Championship. So we asked this question we've asked before, but different circumstances. Uh, will Tiger Woods win another major? Stephen A., for you. I'm at the point right now, I don't want to sit there and say never associated with the great Tiger Woods because considering what he did uh, prior to his incident that has clearly been a huge distraction to his life and to his career, uh, he was the best ever as far as I'm concerned. So you never attach the word I, never. I won't go that far, but I'll give yeah, you. All right. Ahead. But, but you, you don't want to attach the word never. Uh, to that, but but I mentioned towards that. I'll admit it. I'm of the mindset, Skip Bayless, that I, I've now reached a point where, you know, this Ryder Cup is coming up. I don't think Tiger Woods should be on it. I think Tom Watson should make the call to omit him from the squad because he is simply not playing up to par. Matter of fact, correct me if I'm wrong. Tom Watson is either 63 or 64 years old. Four. He's 64 years of age. <clears throat> Tiger Woods couldn't do a number better than him this weekend. Uh, the, the fact of the matter is, is that, yes, he started off with the 69 on the first day. He closed out, what was it, with the 75 yesterday. Uh, his, his shots off the T1, impressive. His putting obviously was not. I, I, you know, I watched it sporadically throughout the weekend. Incredibly unimpressive. And I think the most telling thing is that an hour before... Rory McIlroy even went to the tee yesterday. Tiger Woods was gone. He had driven off. His day was over. That's how awful mm. he played over the last three days. And 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 I, I, I've got to admit, I've grown tired uh, of some of these quotes in terms of, you know, he's working his way back in. He needs more reps, uh, more repetition, get some more game time in. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. If it's not one thing, it's another. And I, I just—he doesn't sound like Tiger. He doesn't look like Tiger. He doesn't appear to be Tiger. And it's gotten to the point where we have to ask ourselves: Is it over for this guy? And I think the only way that we will we will be able to definitively tell, Skip. And I don't—I'm unapologetic about the fact that I defer to you when it comes to golf because you certainly watch a hell of a lot more and know a hell of a lot more about it than I did. I've never. Even covered golf in my professional career as a journalist while you covered many of these events. But I will say, based on what I'm seeing and what I'm watching, I think that when we talk about, you know how they allude to how something must burn mm -hmm. in order for change, they, they got to crash and burn. I think him not being put on the Riders' Cup, on the Riders' Cup team, mm -hmm. I think that's ultimately the definition of crashing and burning. Um, you listen, the last time they won it, what was it, 2008, I believe? It was without Tiger Woods. I mean, the way I look at it, you know, you send that kind of message. It, 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 this is not about names. You got to show up and play. Mm -hmm. The Ryder Cup will be just fine without you. We'll do just fine without you. It's got to be that kind of message because what I'm seeing doesn't measure up. Okay, before I ask, uh, answer Kerry's original question and respond to your Ryder sure. Cup point, allow me to defend the great Tom Watson, who has won five British Opens. And let me say, it was no shame for Tiger to finish behind Tom Watson, even at age 64, because at age 59, just a few years back, Tom Watson almost won the British Open. Okay. All he had to do is make four on the last hole. He wins the British Open. Okay. So, so he loves the British Open and he plays it extraordinarily well every year. Okay. So no huge shame. Okay. But clearly, Tiger opened with the 69 in this British Open. Everybody said, oh, my God, he's back. And he finished 69th, which is a long yes. fall. Yes. Okay. My view. Okay. First of all, on your Ryder Cup point. I'm not going to write Tiger Woods off yet for the Ryder Cup. I need to see more. He's in a couple of weeks. He plays at Bridgestone, where he's mm -hmm. won, uh, what, what is it, six times? No, eight times. He won eight times at Bridgestone. And I won't be shocked if he contends there just because he loves the golf course in Akron so much. He goes home the way LeBron goes home, mm -hmm. to Akron, right? Mm -hmm. 
So let's let's hold the phone on that one. And again, Tom Watson will have captain's picks to make after the FedEx. It's, it's complicated, but I'm not sure Tiger's going to have enough points to qualify to even play in the FedEx. Mm -hmm. But I'm not sure I'm going to be up in arms if Tiger Woods is on the Ryder Cup team. But you're suggesting he just needs it for his own sake to say, I've hit bottom now. That's right. I've got to start that's, over. That's what okay, I'm suggesting. I, I'll buy that part of it because yeah, that's all I'm saying. this man, here's, here's the irony and the, the shock of this to me. The Tiger Woods, who originally made his Nike-built reputation, his Nike-fueled reputation, driving the golf ball off this planet, dominating every event because he hit it so much farther than anybody else. Do you remember this, yes. 97, 98, 99? Yeah. Yeah. He can't drive the golf ball anymore. Mm -hmm. He's got the, the driver yips. You know, when I talk about the putter yips where you have psychological demons, <clears throat> he can't pull his driver out of the bag. The first two days, he pulled it out five times, and he was plus six on those five holes that That's he used right. his drive. Are you kidding That's me? That's right. Tiger Woods is that guy? Okay, so to your point, there's only one way that Tiger Woods, to me, is ever going to win another major championship, and that is if he eats lots of crow, swallows all of his pride, and basically gets on his hands and knees and begs Butch Harmon to coach him again. Mm -hmm. Do you remember what happened when Butch did coach him back through, remember, through 2001? That's right. He dominated the way no one has ever dominated. You said he was the greatest ever. That's debatable between okay. the way him and Nick Nicholas. But, but the point is, he dominated that stretch in ways we've never seen before, and I'm going to suggest today we'll never see again. Mm. Butch Harmon, I've, I've read lots of reports about this. I don't know what to believe. Some people say that Butch has rebuffed Tiger, that Tiger has quietly, privately tried to, to go through back channels to get Butch to come back to him, and that Butch says he wants no more part of Tiger. But when I look at what Butch has done for Phil Mickelson in the last four or five years, and what he's doing right now for Ricky Fowler, have you noticed Ricky this? Ricky Fowler, uh, just two shots yeah. back. I know, but Ricky Fowler in the three majors under. this year, yeah. he, he's tied for second <laughs> twice and tied for fifth, and tied for second, obviously, in the British, and tied for fifth in the other one. I mean, he's, he's completely turned around Ricky Fowler. Mm -hmm. Tell me he wouldn't turn around Tiger Woods psychologically, mentally, emotionally. That's what Tiger needs because it's in his head now. When I watch him walk onto the golf course, he used to walk onto golf courses at major championships like he owned the place because he did. He owned the sport of golf for a long, long time. Now he looks like he's on his way to get a tooth pulled because that's what's about to happen. He knows that when he pulls his driver out, he's going to get a tooth pulled. It's, it's sad for me to watch. It's predictable to watch. He looks like, and I told you this, I remember when we were in Los Angeles a year ago, and you were up in arms because I said, he looks like just another decent golfer to me. You know, like just one of many pretty good golfers. Mm -hmm. That's who he is right now. And again, let's give him a small break because he did have some sort of back surgery. I don't know how serious it was on March 31st. But he was the one who boasted about, I came back way before my doctors thought I would be able to. Yeah. He was the one who chose to play in the tournament he sponsors at Congressional, whatever they call it now, the Quicken Loans. And he missed the cut. He was the one who said, yep, I'm ready to go. Let's go. Let's go overseas. Let's go play the British. Back at a place at Hoylake where he dominated the field back in 06 by not hitting one single driver, I might add. So to me, he, he deserves our criticism today because he said, I'm ready to play this. I might need a few more reps, but I can't recognize this guy anymore. And Butch Harmon is the only way out of what's become Question. a very sad end of career for e Tiger Woods. Educate me about this. Why would Butch Harmon turn him, turn him away? Because Butch works more with your psyche than your swing okay. to me. Okay. And Butch is a confidence maker. He's a confidence builder and instiller. Right. And, and he, he takes little Ricky Fowler, who's about, I, I say he's 5'9", I don't think he's more than 5'7", weighs like 145. Okay. And he said, okay, you can do this really well. Let's just do uh, this. Let's concentrate on doing yeah, all right, this. All right, but what you does know? that have to, why would he turn away Tiger? Because right. Tiger's got demons, man. He's got driver demons, and Tiger's not going to win another major until he regains his confidence but, 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 with his driver. But that's what, you, but, you can't, if you can't get off the tee at the big tournaments, you got no shot. But that's where I'm going, and that's why, I, in all sincerity, I ask you that question. Because if, 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 if Harmon's a confidence builder, mm -hmm. who is more conspicuous 
and the diminished level of confidence right. than Tiger Woods. Nobody. So so so, so it would see he? a perfect. It was he would seem okay. to be the perfect candidate. Well, again, right. maybe Tiger through back channels has explored this, and Butch, who's a very proud man, has said no because well, Tiger dumped Butch. Remember oh, in 2002 okay. it was. Yeah, that's that's okay, so that's maybe there's going. maybe there's so much bitterness on both sides that the bad blood's too deep. But but again, if Tiger would request a sit down with Butch Harmon mm -hmm. and say, I can't do this without you. Mm -hmm. I need you to save the back half of my career. Well, maybe if he He's, did break through and win number 15, maybe sure. the floodgates would open. Maybe he would get it back. He's changed coaches. He's changed equipment. Mm -hmm. He's changed sponsors. I mean, he's changed everything. Uh, Tiger Woods is not the same Tiger not Woods. Not the same guy anymore. He just isn't. All right. Uh, Tiger Woods uh, last won a major. You mentioned six years ago, 2008 U.S. Open. Rory McIlroy wins his third major again at 25. He said this win was a significant one, well on his way to completing a, a career grand slam. Jack Nicholas posting on Facebook that what he did was good, very good. And when Tiger was asked if Rory reminds him of a quote young Tiger, he said that he reminded him of Phil Mickelson. When he gets it going, he gets it going. When he gets it going bad, <laughs> it gets going real Ooh. bad. Ooh. That's Tiger's quote on Rory. Wow. So It's a little bit of a backhanded compliment to me. I guess it, we'll mm. see. Let's explore it. Do you believe Rory will be the reason Tiger will never, ever pass Jack? Skip Bayless. Again, with no Butch Harmon coming back to Tiger, yes, I do believe that this will be by far the biggest obstacle between Tiger Woods at 14 and Jack at 18 okay. majors. I'm still not convinced about Rory's killer will, his, his, just exactly how much drive he has to dominate golf, just how mentally tough he really is. But let me tell you, now that he has clarified some issues in his personal life, Tiger ain't in this kid's league anymore. And again, I talked about how much trouble Tiger's having driving the golf ball. This kid, who's not all that no big either. No problem at all. No problem at all. Hey, <laughs> he is dominating the sport of golf with his driver the way Tiger used to dominate with his driver. Now, Tiger makes a fair point in that Rory has not been, been able to sustain his dominance. Mm -hmm. And he had a thing going on Fridays over the last couple of months where he would just fall apart as he did at the, um, uh, the Scottish Open on Friday. Mm -hmm. But in this case, he went 66 and then 66 on Friday. So he got that demon out of the way. Saturday. And my point is, I love the quote from Rory where he said, I've really found my passion again for golf. And I'm going to throw this out. I said it when they were at their peak. He and Caroline Wozniak. Yeah. I thought it was a bad idea, even though I don't know anything about their relationship or what really happened. But obviously, he broke it off with Caroline after the wedding invitations had been sent out because it slapped him in the face like, I'm not ready for this. Right. I don't think anybody in tennis or golf in their mid-20s should be together because each needs too much from the other one because as you know you cover tennis and they travel a, a lot well, well they travel means. a lot that's a problem too but, yes. but again it's an individual sport in which you are the center of attention in your group and if you have two centers of attention because she was ranked number one yeah going into their relationship she, right she's dropped out. now she's dropped off mm -hmm. and he fell apart and I'm sure it had things uh, there are other things going on in his life he changed clubs too who knows what it all was but I think he clarified in his mind golf is more important right now both of them are I think they're 25 and 24 mm -hmm. now we saw Andre Ag Agassi and Steffi Groff get married but they but were later they in were their, in their 30s yeah. their early 30s sure. so they both had been dominant for a long time sure. and they were ready to settle down and have children sure. that's a whole nother issue because this one this, this is clarifying your situation. Now, maybe Rory will stumble right into another relationship and it'll become a big distraction. I, I have no it. idea about that. But in this case, I thought it was advantage Rory to clear the decks, and he did immediately win the BMW, which is the biggest tournament on the European tour the week after they split. Sure. And then he had a couple of bad Fridays that cost him from winning other tournaments, and now he has broken through and won a British Open. And I think sky is now the limit. Right. I think his floodgates are now about to open. So to me, Tiger not in his league. So when he's on, as Tiger said, Tiger's got no shot against this kid now. Yes. Never believed that, never thought I would believe that until this weekend. And it wasn't just by his plan. By the way, the way he closed Saturday, he going to 16th and 18th, I mean, that was big time. Big time. No doubt about well, it. it was over but, but, then. It was over Pretty then. Much. It was over then, but they still, Garcia and Fallon, they made it interesting. I mean, come pulling within two shots. I give them credit where credit is due. But I will say this to you. 
Here's the biggest thing that stands out in my mind that really, really distance Rory from Tiger. And it is on a personal level without me getting mm -hmm. too personal because I don't want know their personal business and I don't want to know. Yeah, I get it. Just, just based on this. Rory, with the wedding invitations going out, reeling it in and saying, I'm not ready for this. Mm -hmm. That in and of itself is leaps and bounds ahead of Tiger. And here's why. Because at the young age that he's at, he still had the wherewithal to say, I'm not ready for this. This ain't me. I can't do this. You see what I'm saying? Whereas Tiger, clearly by what his reported actions were, wasn't ready but had no problem putting forth the image of being yeah, something right. that he wasn't. You're right. And so ultimately he when did. it got exposed, those are the demons that Tiger has to overcome. For Rory to be that age and in that predicament, I'm going to call it a predicament yeah, yeah, because he yeah. called it off. I agree. To be in that, or they called it off. Right. Because to be that young and to be in that predicament and to ultimately put, pump the brakes, mm -hmm. stop and say, you know what? I ain't ready for this. This ain't for me. For whatever that. reason, you got to give respect where yeah. respect is due because that's somebody not only that knew himself well enough, but was willing to accept the accountability that comes with it for making such a decision and move forward. I mean, immediately after the announcement was made, he went out and won a tournament. He did. And he's been flowing ever since. Yep. This is a man that recognized that's not best for him. Uh, and as a result of it, he's been flowing ever since. So for me, that in and of itself puts him leaps and bounds ahead of Tiger yeah. because Tiger had to deal with all of that stuff because he was too busy trying to live up to an image that he created for I himself agree. as opposed to what really, really is. Yep. And Rory went straight to what really, really is and said the hell with right. image. And you got to give him credit for that. Okay, so when his mind is clear and his passion is high for golf, what has happened? He won the U.S. Open by eight shots. Mm -hmm. He won his other major at the PGA by eight shots. Mm -hmm. And he was ahead by six shots after Saturday and mm -hmm. pretty much just kind of cakewalked yeah. yesterday, to, even though he got a little pressure from Sergio. Right. I, yeah. I never trust Sergio, and he finally coughed it up in the bunker on 15. He's got time, though. He's got, uh, time. got time. I mean, yeah. He's, he's running way out of time. 40 or 50 okay, years old. Speaking right. of got time, last quick point about Tiger and Rory. Yeah. Remember, the previous three winners of the British Open were all in their 40s. Mm. Darren Clark, Ernie Els, Phil Mickelson, all in their 40s. And before that, Tom Watson, as I told you, almost won at 59. So I'm, I can't write Tiger completely okay. off, but something major needs to shift here. Butch Harmon, something has to happen because he is still a shell of himself. And now we're six years and counting for him, from him well, having won his last it's not, major. It's not just that. Everybody around him is getting better. Everybody. Because they, I mean, better. I mean, Garcia is getting better. Fowler is getting mm -hmm. better. You got yeah. Adam Scott. You look at it, you look at it, Phil Mickelson. He's not going to stay down for long. Hey, I mean, Jordan Spieth. It, 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 Jordan Spieth and 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 Ralph Rory's here. So it's yep. like it always appears to be. Even if Tiger gets something right, there are still formidable foes in his way. There are. Yeah. And he's, he's got now to get 38 home. years and seven months. Yes, and I'm sure the day after, he's thinking exactly what you, you just said. Something has to change. Meanwhile, yeah. you mentioned uh, it was probably good for both he and Caroline Wozniacki to uh, end she, that relationship. She won, she won yesterday as well. She won in Istanbul. Her first title go. of a very long right. tennis season. Winners. Um, coming up next, folks.